How should you scale your body weight exercises? Find out in today's video. Hey everyone, someone here from Win Strength, where the goal of the channel is to help you get a little bit stronger every single day. Thanks for clicking on another five minute Friday Q&A videos where I attempt to answer your questions in under five minutes. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future questions. Uh, if you want your own question answered, please uh, leave a comment below or reach out to me on Instagram. I'll leave links below. So today's video, we're going to address uh, scaling bodyweight exercises. So let's start that timer. So the problem with bodyweight exercises is that at some point they become harder to load just because we only have our body weight, obviously. Uh, and if you don't have access to equipment like uh, a home gym or a garage gym or some other equipment like that, um, it's gonna be difficult to increase the difficulty of the movements without some strategies and tips and training. Um, so rather than just increasing the amount of reps you do, uh, we don't necessarily want to just continually add more and more reps. Yes, that is good, but to a certain point, if you can do a thousand push-ups, uh, you're really not increasing your strength, you're really increasing your muscular endurance. So when we want to increase our strength, we have to do things uh, a little bit differently in order to elicit uh, some strength adaptations rather than endurance adaptations. Yes, at the start, um, going from five to 10 reps is gonna be great. You're gonna see some huge uh, returns in your strength. Uh, but once you hit a certain point, pretty much up to that 30th or 50th rep, especially if it's really easy to crank out 50, almost anything, uh, at that point, you're not really building up any more strength. You really shifted over to endurance style training. So we're gonna go over a couple of different options today as to how to increase the difficulty of the movement without uh, introducing external load. So number one will be to slow down the movement. So this one is simply just adding a tempo, adding a count to your movement of choice. Uh, for example, do a three count descent, uh, a five count pause at the bottom of the movement, and then push back up as fast as possible. Uh, that would be, say for example, a three, five, zero count push up. And that's one way to increase time under tension, as well as, um, increase the difficulty of the movement without increasing any, without adding extra weight. Uh, and then again, at some point, you are gonna hit those diminishing marginal turns. You don't really wanna do a 10 minute descent on anything, cause that's not really building up strength anymore. Uh, next would be to add some plyometrics. So what's that? That's just explosive movements, uh, such as a jump squat, a jump lunge, uh, clap push-ups, uh, clap pull-ups, uh, just be mindful of how these affect your joints because they are going to be high impact. So if you do have some joint issues, maybe stay away from these options. But if you're all healthy and well, maybe scale up to them. Start off with uh, clap bench push-ups or jumping up onto something because that impact won't be as hard compared to jumping down onto something. Uh, thirdly, it was kind of similar to the first point, we'll just be to add pauses at any point of the lift, generally one of the more difficult points. Um, so for example, a pause, uh, sorry, for example, a squat, for example, at the bottom of the squat, hold the squat there for five, 10 seconds and then squat back up. And then you find that over time, uh, it's gonna be more and more difficult to complete those reps. Uh, next would be to add in isolation work. This one's a good way to scale difficulty by a lot. Uh, for example, shifting things to one hand or one leg. So instead of doing regular squat, try a pistol squat, which is just you squatting on one leg. Uh, that's gonna almost double the difficulty probably even a little bit more so because you're having to worry about balance now. Uh, but if you can hold onto a wall, a door frame, a chair, something uh, that can keep you balanced and pull off of at the start to get some assistance, that's gonna be one way to really increase the difficulty of movement without having to worry about increasing that weight. Uh, next uh, is gonna be a strategy as to how to lift and that's gonna be to introduce supersets because really what we're wanting to do here is to increase the amount of fatigue we're experiencing in a shorter amount of time. Uh, what, do I mean, what do I mean by this? Uh, so this way you wanna work the same muscle group repeatedly with very small breaks. So think of, so for the legs for example, we wanna start off with say, uh, squats, just regular squats with body weight, and then superset that with lunges. So you really want to go from one movement to the next immediately. That way, uh, the body is already training in a fatigue state and we're getting closer to that failure point sooner. Um, and then one way is to superset even more with just more than two exercises, such as uh, going from a hardest movement to an easier movement. So pistol squats, uh, then lunges, then squats, and then maybe walking up some stairs or walking around. That's gonna be a good way to increase the difficulty whilst you're continually decreasing the difficulty of the movement. Uh, finally is to do one and a half times lifts. 
So that'd be doing the bottom half of your lift, like a little pump and then come back up. So half squat up and then squat back down and squat all the way up again. So you're getting one and a half reps. Uh, and the next thing is from an idea from the bodybuilding days where it's called the 21 guns or the 21 the 21s, uh, where you're doing seven, seven, seven of a movement where you're doing seven reps for the bottom half, seven reps for the top half, and then seven full reps. So bottom squats, top squats. So that pretty much covers it. Uh, there are all the variations you can try and do, implement them in your own training to try and again, increase that difficulty without having to worry about going doing reps to infinity. So if you found this video helpful, uh, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any uh, future Q and A's. Uh, this has been Selen from Winstrength and remember to never stop learning and to never stop lifting. Uh, check out some playlists that I'll leave at the end so you can watch the rest of the five minute Friday question and answers.